everybody. Welcome to another edition of Kyle's Daily Bad Words of Wisdom. Today, I've got some extra funny WTF facts. I actually figured out how to work this thing. I'm usually rolling off of like page 150, but they actually upload this thing every couple days, so we might have some relevant facts. I doubt it though. I try to keep it random. And on a side note, people, I woke up feeling pretty damn blessed this morning. So just thanks everybody to all my friends, supporters, even the aggravators out there. Make me stronger, and I even stick by everybody. Your friends are there with you, you, you should be there with them too, and acknowledge everyone out there. I wish there was less strife in the world. Clinton, happy birthday coming up, man. Stupid shit. Here we go. First fact. Two brothers, writing a birthday card back and forth, since 1979, Jeff gave his brother a Peanuts birthday card, and he didn't want to throw the card away, so he recycled it to his friend Ron, which used the birthday card and passed it back to him, back and forth for 40 years. And it just goes back and forth. Jeff, happy birthday, Ron. Ron, Jeff. Ron, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, Ron, Jeff, Ron. And it goes back and forth for 40 years. So it's just this total... And that's the cover of the, the thing. It's pretty funny. When I was in middle school, I always had this little, uh, if you pulled out this piece of paper in the table, there there was like in the trim underneath the table, there was this little piece of paper in High Desert Middle School. I wouldn't be surprised if it's still there. And it was started in the 90s, so it's probably not. But it was just a random scrap of paper, and it was getting all the initial sign, you know, people I was here, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. A woman in Florida burned down a 3,500-year-old cypress tree on the, the 15th oldest in the century. The oldest tree. And she was... Let me just show you this picture. It's like magnificent fucking tree. She burnt the tree down because she was smoking meth underneath the tree and she decided to start a small fire. So she could see the meth better. Is what she said. Why would you tell anyone that? I mean, you burnt down a fucking tree. Why? You wanted to see it better? At least, like, you didn't have a lighter or some such logical... God. Squack-ass fucking people. <laughs> you just tree in the world. Anyway, a study found that people born in May have the highest risk of illness or disease. Well, people... Born in October, have the highest. This guy, right here, don't wear out those fucking never-ending lifetime things, because this guy bought a lifetime, unlimited, first-class American airline ticket for $25,000. For $250,000, rather. He flew over 10,000 flights costing the company $21,000. They terminated his ticket in 2008. So they said, enough of that shit. You're, you're totally done. Okay, I'm going to have to show you this picture up close. An entire pride of lions decided to take a nap in this tree. So 15 beasts were caught on the branches of this one tree in Tanzania. Here, I'm going to click on this and hopefully we can get it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Hopefully you can see that. It's like lions up the fucking yin yang. They're like hiding every little crack. Is that the one with the lion's butt? It isn't, is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Here we go. Check that out. That's pretty funny. They're just like weaking off and on there. I wonder if there's like some huge branches on the ground they break. No. That's pretty sweet. Okay, and we're halfway through here. Meet the quarter part. Neuro neurologists, I almost said it right, claim that every time you resist acting on an anger, you're actually rewriting your brain to be calm and more loving. Like I always say, if someone fucking hits you, I just like, why are you hitting me? I'm trying to wonder what the, what, why am I being hit? 
might be my problem. Most of, sometimes it is. I'm kind of an asshole. Nissan used the number 23 because people know what the fuck they're talking about. And maybe it's Italian. They don't even specify. If you translate the number 2, it means ni, and the number 3 means san. So, translated together means Nissan. Because it doesn't say Nissan on every single quarter panel. You have to... And it, who's that? That makes sense to the person who knows it subscribe and translates. Transla <laughs> okay. <laughs> I should have followed through on that. These are one of those stupid facts that a smart Brady person tells around. Which is stupid. Pumpkins, watermelons, avocados, and bananas are all berries. While strawberries, raspberries, blueberries are not. Somebody started naming shit wrong. Maybe they should have been pump pump berries, water berries, ava berries, and banana berries. And then it should have been straw pumpkins, rasmelons, and then blue nanas. Oh yeah. Pull that one right out. <laughs> if a person's body odor smells good to you, it means Hopefully the opposite sex. America now, God damn it. <laughs> it means that their immune system genes are opposite to yours, which allows the highest chance for people with opposite immune system genes to male to resulting in offspring with a strong immune system. So, if you're swimming in the same gene pool, that attraction is not going to be there. Because um, the male to female gene ratio, it would, uh, yeah, totally, it's all in your brain. You, they they got to be fit as a fiddle. All right, and finally here, to like everything happens in two, twos, man. I broke both my arms on, on that longboard scooter of mine, in case no one catched up on that one. But in 1975... Very sad here, a 17-year-old boy was killed while riding a moped. He was killed exactly 17 years after his brother was killed in the same spot, riding the same moped in the same intersection by the same taxi with the same driver carrying the same passenger. I think there's, like, not much going on in this town, man. And it was, they just blind corner. I mean, the two brothers were killed by the same taxi driver, same intersection, and the moped is that's all that's, oh, and, um, that is weird. I bet in the afterlife, the moped and the taxi driver, the vehicles, you know, they'll go after it. That's enchanted this. I probably went on like eight minutes here. What are we at? Ah, <laughs> eight minutes exactly. All right. All right, take her easy, everybody. Sorry I'm getting a long-winded, but some funny shit. Take note. Peace.